Okay, quick video to highlight a few charts that I'm watching for uh, Thursday. CBS is one of them. Nice bottoming tail today. It's pretty beaten up. A pretty good sell-off here and a little bear flag and another push down. Um, did have uh, resistance here. Could become support. I have this on long watch. I don't have any kind of trigger price, um, but I definitely have it on long watch. NIHD. Uh, I like this chart still. Um, I love the fact that it hit this 8... What was the high here? 8.45 uh, and then basically hit that area again on volume both times and now it's kind of flagging. If I zoom in, um, it's pulling back to the 20 day moving average and a little bottoming tail today. So I have this one on long watch. Um, one of these days this can get back up over 8. In my opinion, looking at the chart, this could see 10. So I've been trying to watch NIHD every day. VRNG, not going to chase this one, but uh, you've got to, this kind of volume, you've got to have that one on watch tomorrow, preferably for one of our quiet entry plays that we do in our chat room. Um, and we'll see if it sets up as such. Netflix, kind of the same deal. Um, Netflix, very nice little breakout today on volume. We'll be on watch tomorrow. Um, NAV, NAV, Navistar, still interesting to me. Uh, if it gets down near 20, might give a good long setup. It really does a nice job of bouncing off 20. EXPD, one of our bounce plays. It's come pretty far to get down to this 35 area that was support from August. Uh, we'll be watching for a bounce play intraday setup if it gives us one in the chat room on Thursday. Hewlett Packard, HPQ, I don't know what to think of this thing. One ugly, ugly chart. But uh, with this kind of volume and this kind of push down, that might be better watching for a long bounce play um, tomorrow than uh, short now to chase it. So nothing pretty about it, but. Uh, Mosaic MOS also down a couple days in a row. I know they uh, didn't impress on earnings uh, a day or two ago, but um, down to the 200 day and might be worth watching for a bounce. Uh, a couple other interesting stocks. U.S. Steel, <coughs> excuse me, U.S. Steel. Kind of, you can see a head and shoulders here, okay? We talked about this in chat this morning. Um, and if it loses this area, it could be a good short. However, I'm always, I always try to think with what we <laughs> label in chat a flexible bias. One of our members came up with that. It also has bounced off of 18 very nicely a couple times and a little bit above 18 here too. So a push down to 18, it's one of those that could go either way, but I'm inclined to be thinking a bounce around 18 um, before if it were to break down, I'd still think you'd have a bounce for a trade first. Um, STEM is still interesting to me. We got another little trade in this one today. If STEM uh, is a cheaper uh, stem cell stock, Gets over uh, 216, so 217 tomorrow. Could uh, challenge this recent high from um, about a week ago, 227, and end up could get, could end up giving a nice percentage gain. And I was on the fence about whether or not to show this, but uh, uh, PPHM actually could be a bounce play. I don't ever call stocks under a dollar, but this one is setting up for a bounce play. So if it can trade in a narrow range for a while on uh, Thursday and then break its early high, you might get a decent little quick percentage move. Um, having said that, I doubt I'll be calling or trading this one in chat. I just don't like messing with stocks under a dollar. So um, there's some things I'm watching tomorrow. And as always, we always find unusual volume stocks, stocks showing high relative volume in the first 10 or 15 minutes that we build kind of a, a new intraday list in addition to this uh, overnight list that I'm showing you right now. So um, that's what uh, we'll be watching on Thursday. Have a good night. We'll talk to you later.